before we move on um, and plug all this stuff in our calculator, I want to talk about how we can kind of interpret our results, um, v plus w here, and its its magnitude and direction. Okay. So the idea is these two force vectors that we have up here, we're representing a, a force that was being applied on some other ship that's being towed. Okay. We have two tugboats applying these forces in slightly different directions and with different magnitudes. And the idea is that when we combine both of their forces, the result is that we end up with a, a force of 6,961.6 pounds in the direction of 12.6 degrees off the positive x-axis, or if you want to describe that in terms of bearing, you can as well. But yeah, we, we can think about their two combined forces as just this one force, because this is the direction we'll wind up heading. Okay. Now, is what I'd like us to do next is switch over to our calculator, and we'll get some more practice storing things in our, our calculator. Let's start off here by computing the horizontal component of V plus W. That was 4,200 cosine of 25 plus 3,000 sine of my, or uh, sorry, not sine, cosine of minus 5. Okay. And make sure you are in degrees before you hit enter here. And so that all looks good. That should be our horizontal component. And I'm going to store this in my calculator as, as A. So I'm going to hit STO here. And then I'm going to hit alpha A because that's what I want to, I decided to store it as. And let's hit enter. Okay, so there's that. And then let's do the vertical component, which should look the same other than with Sign. So if I hit second enter twice here, I should be able to get that to pop back up and I can just replace these cosines with sines. There we go. And so here's B and so I'm going to hit store alpha B. All right, so I have A and B stored here now. And so the next calculation that we had done after this was we found the magnitude of our vector, which was just the square root of A squared plus B squared. So we have second square root, we have alpha A squared plus alpha B squared. Okay. And there's that 6,961.6 if we round to the nearest tenth. Okay. And then one last calculation we had, tangent inverse. This was for our angle theta of alpha B divided by alpha A. And there's our, our 12, approximately 12.6 degrees. All right, and that is it.